No, not a game that I thought we'd come out here on a Sunday and talk about, but especially since Texas blew out UTSA 56-7. to But there's an interesting development in this game for the University of Texas. That is one Arch Manning getting into the game after an abnormal uh, ab strain uh, for Quinn Ewers, who will miss next week's game versus ULM. Um, but Arch Manning comes into the game. 9 of 12, 223 yards, four passing touchdowns, 53 yards rushing a touchdown. One of those was a 66-yard touchdown run. Look, I thought it looked phenomenal. Um, I'd love to take my victory lap here, you know, where I said that if if they do need to call on him, I think he's going to be a great player. I know that you're going up against UTSA, so we're not exactly getting in a formidable opponent to really test him. But he's going to be great next season. Like, I, I really think that he's going to be in the Heisman conversation. Him and Nico are probably going to be season. leading it. He's not going to be in the Heisman conversation this year. It's oh, not Heisman good. conversation, but you said he's going to be great next season. When he's the starter next year full-time, he is going Why, to be when he's phenomenal. We're not doing that. We're not. Look, Why? I do not think I do not think that Arch Manning is going to be um, a starter for a stretch this year. I think that Quinn Ewers played fantastic against Michigan and has proven that even if he's banged up, once he's back and fully healthy, you you can't do that. You just can't. You're going to divide a locker room if you do the whole switch thing and you go to the younger guy. Bledsoe Bledsoe Brady. I I, I just – I think that that creates such a messy situation. You have a guy who has gotten better on a week-to-week basis and on a year-to-year basis that has all the tools to be a really good football player. Is he injury-prone? Yes. You now have the advantage of having a week schedule for the next few games that he can get back to full health and you can start Arch. All I think was what I was proven is that if Quinn Ewers say he goes down with an injury and he's done for the season in a playoff game or in the SEC championship game, Arch Manning is absolutely good enough to rally the team and to produce. They he is the best backup quarterback in the country and there's no conversation or debate about it. But there's nothing further than that. Even if he plays out of his mind against ULM and then Quinn Ewers comes back, I don't think that there is a conversation about starting him. It's too reactive. Joe, if he's got 10 touchdowns, okay? Because he had 5 this week. God forbid he has 5 again going against ULM. And he's got 10 touchdowns and he hasn't played a full game because that's what's probably going to happen when they play you. Sark is not going to do that. Well, let me ask you this question. Is he is he or is he not more dynamic of a player than Quinn Ewers? They're the same, they're just different skill sets. They're they're equally as they're both good athletes. They both have He's one not, guy the one difference guy is a far and ahead better athlete. No. No. They're both just, regret, the, no. They're both great athletes. One's not a more, far Quinn better athlete. Than, not better athlete than, than they're Arch. both. They're both tremendous. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. He had a long rushing touchdown, and they go. People are, are, are acting like he's the next coming he, of Lamar Jackson. Like we need. <laughs> I, that's. I'm exaggerating there, but I. The difference between the two, and why you would go to one over the other, Quinn Ewers is volatile, and sometimes he can be over aggressive and make mistakes. Arch is. Pinpoint accuracy, move the ball down the field, be consistent, set up your guys for big plays. You don't make anything about that he looked better coming off the bench than what Quinn did as a starter? Because they're playing the same exact team. Let me re-ask the question. What does it say about one guy who didn't start looking better that came off the bench and was cold and looked better than the guy that started the football game? It's in-game. I know it's UTSA, but it's hard – it's unexpected like to opponent. It's unexpected to prepare. My camera's going to die, by the way. It's unexpected to prepare for an for a new quarterback stepping into a game. All I'm going to say here is I do think that Sark will go with Quinn Ewers. I think he will stay with him. That leash is very short, and it it needs to be really short. Uh, if this kid continues to do what that. he's doing, all right. Here's here's my thing. I don't think Quinn Ewers can lead you to a national title. I, I disagree with that. I absolutely think that he can once he's back and he's fully healthy. I I, I absolutely. So he, he had another very bad mistake that led to a turnover. But, okay, but this is the this is the world that you live in with these improvisation. You don't say that every time that Patrick Mahomes throws an interception. That but like he oh. barely throws interceptions. 
No, he makes mistakes all the time. All of these these highly volatile quarterbacks that take risky chances because they have the arm strength to do it. Jordan Love, Caleb Williams, all of these guys. There are so many highs and lows. We can't re we can't overreact because he threw a pick against UTSA and because Arch threw had five touchdowns. They're both great players. It's just it, it's it is the most it is more luck than it is a a problem. We'll see, man. I I I think the kid looked better than and has looked better than Quinn Ewers. There, I said it. I just think he's going to be more dynamic. And I don't I don't. Here's the thing, Joe. Something we didn't discuss. Quinn Ewers is hurt yet again. And that and Joe, you're talking about a four year stretch that we know for a fact, or three year stretch. Excuse me, a three year stretch where we know for a fact, as a starter, he's going to get hurt. And then we have the reports at Ohio State that he also got hurt there. My, my question becomes is, I'm like, I, I don't know if he's got it, man. I, I really don't. I, the injury stuff they can't control. I, get, I mean, I get that. I he mean, can't it's, control. He can't control. No, he can't. Yeah, he, he can't can control. control. That he, okay. You take okay. the offseason a little bit more seriously. We don't know if he took the offseason seriously or not. Some guys are just injury prone. Okay. Arch Manning's the way for Texas. And I'm going to leave it with it. In the eyes of a ranger are upon you. When you're in Texas, you will see. Do you know that theme song? I don't. Do you know that theme song? It's the Texas Walker, Texas Ranger. It is Walker, Texas Ranger. That's what Arch Manning should run out to of the tunnel at Texas. Next year. This year. This video is sponsored by the online fitness training camp presented by Chris Gates Fitness. When I first started talking about Chris about partnering with our show. Not only was I excited to have a fitness sponsor for our pod, but more importantly, when I found out about how he can help people achieve their goals, I was even more bought in because when the football season starts, it is so tough to stay on top of things and also to be able to enjoy yourself on Saturdays when it's game day. With Chris Gates Fitness's online training camp, you're going to be able to effectively Stay focused, consistent, burn fat, build muscle, and do it with a like-minded community of individuals working towards the same thing. On top of this, you're going to be able to get direct coaching from Chris and the ability to ask him questions with an access to a live Q&A where you can get direct personalized support from Chris himself. Don't wait any longer. If you're trying to get in shape during this fall and you want to be able to do it, with the right support system, head on over to chrisgatesfitness.com slash training camp or click the link in the description and you need to do it today because you can get the first month, personal training is expensive folks, the first month for only $10 when you use that code Rafino Joe. Don't wait any longer, head on over there. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first. Deposit that is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet online where the game starts.